All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the secret towns for Airbnb investments, vacation rentals here in Colorado. If you like this content or want more content like it, you can find our website and our podcast link below. We would also appreciate a like and subscribe. Absolutely. Let's talk about these towns then. Now, this is totally clickbait, right? The secret town. So we're just going to talk about some towns that maybe you haven't heard of. Everybody's heard of Aspen. Everybody's heard of Vail and Breckenridge and the ski towns. But what are some other areas where you can still buy a vacation rental and do pretty well with it? And definitely everyone's heard of Denver. So we're going to talk about the, the first two are cities that are very close to Denver and very close to Boulder. So Wheat Ridge and Arvada. Wheat Ridge is a really good investment because if you were in Denver and you were on Colfax heading west, you wouldn't even know when you entered. Wheat Ridge. What's important about entering Wheat Ridge though is that you're now in an Airbnb compliant city. So it has a lot of the good restaurants and proximity to Denver, but the law makes it legal to have an Airbnb investment there that's not your primary residence. Absolutely. Uh, along the lines of Wheat Ridge, we've got Arvada, which is just north of Wheat Ridge, so kind of northwest of Denver. It's got a really cool, uh, what they call Old Town, so kind of a downtown with bars, restaurants, uh, shops. It's also about a 15 minute, 10 minute uh, a train ride or a light rail ride straight into downtown. So it's really uh, a, a great location if you want to be buying an Airbnb investment in Denver, but technically Denver doesn't allow it. So uh, you might buy in Arvada. I also like Arvada because it's very close to Denver and Boulder. And since we see both of those cities getting very expensive and having a lot of demand, there's reason to believe that Arvada also will appreciate over time. And it already has. See, <laughs> so if you look at prices right. right now, it's kind of expensive. Okay, so let's talk about the mountain towns that are appealing. Sure. One town that maybe people are kind of discovering right now that's really popular is Fair Play. The benefit of Fair Play is that it's 30 minutes south of Breckenridge, but it's not subject to the Summit County rules or Breckenridge rules, both of which are pretty restrictive right now. Breckenridge actually has a cap on the number of STRs that you can do, and Summit County has gone back and forth between having a moratorium. Fair Play is in Park County, and Park County is totally open to STRs as of now. There is some talk about whether or not that could change. So if you're interested in getting in, I would get in now. It's about an hour west of Denver and it's about an hour north of Colorado Springs. So it's also a really good location if you have friends or family or think that you might be accessing either of those locations. And then it's so close to the mountain town. So we've had clients that have investments in Fair Play and they're doing really well. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good place. Uh, the one thing about Fair Play, when we're talking about Fair Play, we don't actually mean the city. We mean the county outside of it. Uh, the city of Fair Play has a moratorium on any new short-term rentals currently. So we're really talking about Park County. Another attractive mountain area that's not the ski slopes is the Divide and Woodland Park area. So that's directly west of Colorado Springs. There's also a town called Cripple Creek that's further out that you kind of hit these towns as you head out that way. These are for people that don't care about skiing and don't care about being in the cutesy boutique areas, but want to be in the wilderness and away from the city, but also close enough to access the city because it's about 45 minutes. I would say Woodland Park is 30, 45 minutes outside of Colorado Springs. Yeah, I think people, again, kind of like we said up top, I think people think that you've got to be at the ski towns to have a successful Airbnb. That's not the case. There's a lot of people, us included, that don't ski, but they still want that Colorado cabin experience. Get away with your family, sit by the fireplace, play games, whatever that is, have incredible views. And Divide and Woodland Park really offer that for you. There's some really great mountain homes there. Uh, the rules are, are pretty open. Technically, uh, Divide and Woodland Park do allow it, but most of the homes you're looking at would be in Teller County, unincorporated Teller County. And Teller County is totally open to short-term rental investments. If you are looking for an investment, that would be that short-term or some other kind of second home in the areas that we've just talked about, reach out to us at AaronAndJamesRealEstate.com. If you like this content, you can like and follow us below. We also have a podcast that covers a lot of the same topics.